Okay, we are getting right into it on the Insta360 Go 2. Now, I am shooting in 1440p, 30 frames per second, everything to the max, basically. And also, we are shooting in linear mode. Not wide, but linear, just because that is kind of how I like to shoot in every camera. I like it where it doesn't look like an action camera. It doesn't look too GoPro-y, you know? And now, to be real, I really, really wanted to like this camera. But the first one I had gave me so many problems. Like, and I am not joking. The camera wouldn't charge. The camera kept dying. Even when it was in a case, then the case was fully charged. Sometimes it wouldn't turn on. Sometimes footage was gone. The quality just did not look that great. The list just goes on and on. Like I was so excited for the camera. I had everything lined up. I had a whole plan of like doing this whole entire vlog going. I, like just, I had just everything ready for the camera and I could not get through the review. It was so bad. <laughs> like it was, and it was, this was before I even looked at the image quality. Yeah, it was a bit of a downer. Like, but then also I see people who get amazing footage, even vlog footage from this camera. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, it must be me. I'm giving it a go. I didn't want to wait for my friend to return. And when I lent out, I just went ahead and bought another one. And here we go. And now I do have to point out that this is not a sponsored video. Insta360 did not send me the camera, even though I actually asked them. I emailed the rep that reached out to me because hands down, Insta360 customer service is like, you, you guys are on it. Hands down. Yeah, I reached out to see if I can get like a loaner just to do a couple reviews on. And yeah, they, they were like, nah. So I was like, you know what? All right, that, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool, pimp. You going on the list though. But yeah, I had to give this camera another go because I really, really wanted to like it. Like I just, I do like it. I like everything that you could do with it. The size, everything. Like I think that's why I like the DJI Action 2 so much is because they kind of just hit the mark with everything that this camera was missing. And some people are saying that this footage looks better than the GoPro Hero 10. I, I no, it did not, not, not even a little bit. In my experience, the footage straight out of this camera maxed out even in log did not even come close but pimp a lot has changed since i made that video so the camera is updated i did the calibration just like ins360 told me to so i can get rid of that drift and the case is fully like fully charged so we should not have too many problems today about the camera that I like. Cause I told you guys some of the things that just went horribly wrong when I tried doing this review. <laughs> Look, review. When I tried doing this review the first time. But a lot of things I love about the camera. One is the size, two is the magnetic capability. Like that really sold it for me. Like just being able to put it anywhere, I'm sold. But also the charging case is genius because it also has tripod legs in it, which is like, Come on, that is that is well thought out. And the flow state stabilization is surprisingly good. Now, I, you know what, actually, while we're talking about the flow state stabilization, let's go ahead and, well, I just crossed the street, but you know what, let's cross a street again, and then we'll do. Let's go, we're gonna run all the way down and let you guys see how good this stabilization is. And now another quick side note, I am just holding the case open with the camera inside. No tripod, none of that. Got my book bag on, so yeah. Sony A7S III is inside. I'm holding the camera as steady as I can. How are we looking? We're gonna run all the way back to the bridge. Oh, I'm running faster than some people on the bikes. Let's go, let's get those people over there. Uh, no, we can't compete. <laughs> all right, how was that? Out of breath. Now, another thing that I, who's still out of breath? <laughs> Man, it is just a genius camera. Hopefully, a lot of that stuff was fixed that was, un, that was wrong with mine because I'm telling you, I have never had such a hard time with a camera and doing a camera review than I have with the Insta360 Go 2, which again, Insta360 themselves reached out and gave me a lot of tips, which I am applying today. All right, and now for the audio test. How are we sounding? Now, we are, next to a street. But yeah, for the most part, how are we sounding? When I did a video about it before, I didn't think it sounded too bad. The audio was a bit like hit or miss, but updates 
do wander. So how do we sound? How does it sound? Is the camera picking up a lot of noise? Is it not? I mean, how, just overall, how are we sounding? And now again, this kind of review is mostly for vlogging. Like, can you use this as a travel or vlog camera? It's like the big question for me. Like, could it fit in with my normal workflow of vlogging? Like the other cameras fit so easily inside my workflow that it's like some people don't even notice when I'm putting in like DJI Action 2 footage or Pocket 2 footage or even iPhone footage. You don't even notice it. But with this one, I, I notice it. You know, like just that quality drop is, it's, it's pretty, it was pretty bad. it fit in like does it have a place in your camera bag to the point where it's not just a gimmick when people are not doing sponsor reviews on this camera I'm not seeing this camera used like I'm gonna just be real there's maybe a couple people that I follow that still use the camera but for the most part a lot of these people are not using the camera I mean for me personally I like to avoid trying to get other people to buy things that only has like one use or they'll use it maybe a couple of times and then get rid of it or forget about it. That's what I try to avoid because of the simple fact that it's a, you know, if you do that, it is a waste of money and a waste of your time too. And your time is like, you can always get more money, but the time that you like spend on it, you know, like you can't get that back. big pro that you have with this camera is the simple fact that the case one of the things that you do get with the case is a wireless remote meaning you can take the camera out press record and yeah you can it can control the camera which is I think that that is a genius idea I almost wish that DJI did the same like just something a little bit similar but I kind of get why they didn't so far how are we looking how's the vlog looking like be honest like leave it in the comments below what do you think about the Insta360 go to in like a regular vlog setting I mean it is a bit cold but yeah for the most part is the weather's not terrible today which I'm like really shocked by but yeah it's pretty good today so what do you guys think like how is the quality looking? How is the audio sounding? How is the stabilization? I mean, I know the stabilization is good. Like I'm not like I said it before, and I'll say it again. Stabilization is like top notch. Not gonna lie. Like there's there's no reason to even like lie about that. Like, and I can actually say too that it looks better than the GoPro as well as the DJI Action 2. The sta stabilization. <laughs> Now, another thing that I do have to talk about is the skin tones. How does it look? That was one of the biggest ones that bothered me as well. When I first reviewed, oh, come on. God damn. Okay, let me show you guys something. I want to do a review on this bike, the Vamoof. This bike looks so sick. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and cough up the monies and rent one of those bikes. They look so sick. So yeah, you might be seeing like an electric bike review like soon. All right, now a couple of things to take note of too is overheating issues, which I, I brought up before in a previous video, but I have not, gotta, gotta go on the record and say, I have not experienced overheating with the S360 GO 2. It does get extremely warm sometimes when recording, as well as charging. Just like, kind of just like all these cameras are doing nowadays. Like, I don't like it, but yeah, these are some small cameras packing like a lot of heat. Now, to be real, something that I have experienced with the camera is running out of space. That is like a big one, but Insta360 did fix this by making another one that offers 64 gigs of internal storage. Now, 32 gigs is plenty. I mean, for me, I think it is plenty, but 64 is like, yeah, that's, that's something. Oh, look at this kitty. Hey, kitty. Okay, I'm gonna show you something really quick. Okay, let me show you. So you see that over there? That's a toilet. And then the last thing we have to mention that, hmm, it just seems like a lot of people who are sponsored don't mention this. 
<laughs> but yeah, one thing that we do have to mention and bring up is the workflow. The workflow is not traditional. Like using ProMote, you cannot pull the file straight off the camera like a traditional camera. You have to go through the app, enable flow state and all the other goodness that you want, and then export it from there. And this can be a bit timely. What does that say? 43 minutes, almost 44 minutes. Ooh, just a little bit warm. You know what? Let's go somewhere, grab a coffee, and like, let's talk about it. Because I do feel like I don't want to, like, I, I'm giving this camera another shot. This is my second time buying it. And you know, matter of fact, Insta360 says, I know y'all watch it. I know you watch it. So how about this? I want to make a deal. Like, I want to I wanna air it all out, okay? I want you guys to send me an Insta360 go-to, and I want to do a giveaway. Because I do think this is a great camera. My subscribers are dependent on you. And subscribers, if they do, we are doing a giveaway like a holiday giveaway and we will give away that is 360 go to Maserati I haven't seen this Maserati in a while all right and now let's get into pros and the cons of the Insta360 go to let's sit down and get into it all right so the Insta360 go to and I have to say they did improve a lot especially from the last time I test the charging is a lot better and the connectivity is like a lot better too those were two big problems i had when i first reviewed it and also it is waterproof another thing that i really like about the camera is the case itself the case itself is not waterproof but the charging case and the thought that was put into the charging case is like i, I have no complaints with it the way little bunny ears flip out to make a tripod is like really cool like come on that that does look like a bunny, right? Like, come on. The quarter inch thread at the bottom means you can like screw it onto anything. It's, it is really, really well thought out. Also, this thing does last quite a long time. Now, I didn't know that going into today's video because I had such a hard time with it on my first review, but it does last. It lasts a really long time. Matter of fact, there's no way you're gonna run out of batteries before you run out of space. And then I know I say this a lot, but I really, really like the magnetic feature. Like, I just like magnet, man. I don't know. It, I'm telling you, you gotta get on this magnet game. Like, if you're not on the magnet game, get on this magnet. It is boss. Like, for real. You probably didn't even know it, but it's like right over there. It's like, come on, come on. You, you gotta get on the magnets, man. All right, but now we definitely we cannot talk about the pros without talking about the cons because there's still some like although i like this camera and i've always liked it i was just kind of let down there's still some cons and some things that need to be worked out at least we're cutting because of uh this look all right so i decided to just go ahead and come back home because it was getting so loud at that cafe <laughs> it was crazy as people know i'm like filming i'm like talking to the camera and people are just like huddling up around me like what are you talking about like no joke there was a couple that came and out of all the seats available at this place it was like completely dead seats outside seats inside they sat right next to me outside but you know what anyway pimp anyway let's finish talking about the insta360 go 2 and let's get into the con and you know what let's go ahead and start off with image quality now the image quality did look a lot better from when i used it but the skin tone issue is still there that orangeness and like it it is a weird issue like it is very strange also it is extremely sharpened like i didn't really it's probably the most sharpened footage out of all the cameras I've seen. Somehow there's like some kind of noise reduction, it looks like, to smoothen it all out. So it's over sharpened and it already has noise reduction in the footage, even before you even do any processing with it. So yeah, it's, I think that that is a con for me, just cause I would rather have it look a little bit more natural. All right, how are we looking? It's 360 go-to's right here, DJI action two right here. Just quick indoor test. How are we looking? But I can't say it does look like it's been improved. And matter of fact, I can even give you a fix for this to make it just, just kind of tone down a bit. And that is to shoot in wide. Do not shoot in linear or narrow. Everything is amplified, especially if you shoot in narrow. But anyway, my last big con for the camera has to be the workflow. Holy cow. Guys, to transfer 27 gigs, 27 gigs of 1440p footage took 44 minutes. Now, you know what? No, no. 43 minutes and 59 seconds. That is a long, 
long time to be transferring footage. And now since I wasn't done with the review, I actually went back and took it out and finished it up. And this time only used about 13, 17 gigs. And it took 27 minutes to put on the computer. And now that was on my computer through the app with everything shot in pro mode. Now, if you are thinking, well, why didn't you just do it on your phone or your iPad? Glad you asked. When I transferred the footage on my iPad, all of the 27 gigs of footage, it took 52 minutes. That is a long time and, and it's not even 4K. Let me put it in perspective. So when I finish a video, I'll usually take the main file that has all the files in it and it's usually roughly 80 to 120 gigs. 120 gigs usually takes about 40 minutes to transfer over to the drive. Now, if I use a different cable, sometimes it's faster. 40 minutes for 120 gig transfer to another, to a backup drive. But anyway, pimp, let me know what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the footage? What do you guys think of the camera? Do you own one of these cameras? Because last time I did this video, there was a bunch of N360 Go To fans like lighting up the comments. So let me know what you guys think. It did change my mind a bit like using it. And it's a 360, that challenge still stands. And if you come through, I will scratch your name off the death note list. So yeah, come through and your name will be gone. And you don't even have to ask pimp. A new video is coming up soon comparing the Insta360 Go 2 up against the DJI Action 2. It is coming. I will see you guys there.